Good afternoon, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Yad's Edown, my man, Mr. Hey, Tester. We just arrived. We are here in Talar Yaz, which is the best restaurant in Yaz, and they got Game Stew. Game Stew. Which is really famous in Yaz. And this is a huge restaurant, right? It is a huge restaurant. And they told me they got Fesen Jun Yazi as well. I never tried it before. Okay, I'm you excited. Ready? Yeah, yeah, it's really hot. I'm ready to. <laughs> no kids today. <laughs> Let's go inside here. Talad Yaz restaurant. It's boiling here in Yaz, yeah, huh? Yeah, it's hot. I was a student here. Oh, were you? In Mayboat, yeah. No way. So I was coming here, it was 20, 20, 30 kilometers from here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Like Mr. Taster said, this is a massive restaurant. Look, huge dining hall. And then over here, on the right, we have another massive room. I think this is for weddings. Look at this gorgeous place. Yeah, of course, it's for weddings. They have a little stage over there. They also have upstairs, they have downstairs, and they have a VIP area. So I think now we're going to the kitchen to see how they make these dishes. I'm hungry, man. Let's go. I'm hungry, too. I'm waiting for Mr. Kavichi. He's coming. Okay, we're starting off with some soup. So what soup do we have here? Yeah, it's barley soup, uh, which got barley in it, chicken, mm. carrot, onion, do that. and vegetables. So a very rich vegetable soup. It is very rich, yeah. All right, let's do it. Mm. It's amazing. Coffee? Yeah. Coffee yeah, means enough? Enough, enough, <laughs> of course. Oh, we got some bread here too? Oh, yeah. Oh wow, Local what is bread, this? Yeah. Local bread? Yeah. We got some lemons. You want some? Yeah. It was super, super tasty. Yeah, it it's is. It's like the ultimate chicken soup. Some salt? Mm hmm. Mix it in. Right now, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Mm hmm. Bro. So we're gonna do the bread? Yeah, let's do the bread. For you. For me? Keep it in your mouth and then the soup. Mmm. Oh. Soup melts the bread. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's incredible bread. Very nice. A little flaky. Very different from the other ones, right? It's still a little doughy. Yeah. What is this? You got some oil. What is that? Like lemon juice? Lemon juice, yeah. Try it a bit. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, so good. Oh, I love your country. <laughs> I haven't had a bad meal yet. Not a bad meal. Really? Everything's been delicious. Mm. David, fresh orange juice. Oh. Wow, nice. So the way it works here is they keep bringing things around in these carts, right? As you can see, the woman's passing by. She came by, she goes, you want some fresh orange juice? We're like, yeah, and then she like, just writes it down that we got it, right? Oh, that's fresh. Mm. Oh my gosh. So I guess they have uh, orange trees in this area, right? But in north of Iran and south of Iran. Oh, that's good. Not the hotel stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, kitchen time. It's exciting because they're going to be making a lot of dishes here. Salam, salam, salam. Salam. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Merci, merci. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, they're making a lot of things here. They got kebabs over here, more kebabs over there. Over here, they're cutting vegetables. I'm going to come back to you soon. <laughs> she wants me to go over there. I'm going to go over there now. Salam, salam. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Salam. They're making the kebabs. So they're making chicken kebabs. This is where they're making the kubi de. The kubi de. Yeah. Wow. He's the king in making the kebab. Yeah? He's the skill is phenomenal. Let's see, let's see. Wow. It's like perfect. Pure lamb. Pure lamb. That's the best. No beef. <laughs> no beef. We're gonna get some, right? Yeah. We're getting some kubide? Yeah, of course, we have to. Wow, so we got like seven guys here working on the kubide. We have three women doing the chicken. Wait, look at it, it doesn't stop. Look at this, it just keeps grinding meat. Just keeps grinding meat. This kubide, which is 90 grams, is going to make you low make 
kebab, which is 220. 220? Yeah. Look at how big that kebab is. So it's three times the size. Do you like Lorme or Kubide? Lorme. <laughs> yeah, it's three times the size. It's crazy. That's a massive kebab. So how many kebabs do they do per day here? I mean, right now it's hundreds. Uh, 1,500 to 2,000 kebabs every day. Well, me and him are going to eat like a dozen or two dozen. If, if, <laughs> if you get married, 5,000. 5,000 kebabs. <laughs> Amazing. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> oh, oh. Big factory here. Huge kitchen. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, there's uh, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So they're frying potatoes in this huge vat. They got really famous chips. They're serving it with ketchup. No way. It's famous in this restaurant. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So he's going to show us how they make the potato like that. So they get the water from potatoes and then they put it in the hot water for shucking and cold water and then burn the oil. So the potatoes have been soaked in water sitting there and they strain it. Hot water, cold water, fire. Hello, hello. Nice there, there are more over there. More over there? Oh. Oh. So crispy. Mmm. So fresh. Mm. And I'm sure the ketchup is like homemade. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The cheese is alright. He's not. Padesha. Salam, salam. So he's the owner. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amazing. Oh yes, this is it. Kubi de, kubi de. They're about to grill all this right here. Look at the amount of kubi de. Infinite kebabs. So fresh, I have to have a bite. Oh! Oh! The best kubi de. The best kubi de I've had in yeah. Iran. The best kubi de. Oh! It's all lamb, no beef in it. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was a spectacle. Incredible. Way too hot for me to be in this kitchen anymore. I'm ready to eat. Merci. Merci. Guys, merci. <laughs> My friend, merci, 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 merci. Oh my gosh, too good, too good. More? <laughs> I'm hungry, man, I sweat everything. We just started. And here we have oranges like boiling, making it super caramelized for the sweet pulao. Oh, smells amazing. That aroma? Oh, it's gonna be good. Koshmaze means delicious. Delicious for the sati. It has to have this oil. Look at that. It's almost green to black color. So what's this one? This is Jigo. Lamb shoulder. Lamb shoulder? Look at that. <laughs> lamb heaven, man. Yeah, lamb heaven. Some sugar on it. Sugar. Wow. Orange. Almond and pistachio. More rice. More sugar. Sugar, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I've never seen this much sugar in a pulao. So many layers in this pulao. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Merci, merci. We're excited. We're going to eat the kubi there. We're going to eat like five dishes. I'm super thrilled. Hey, merci. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Let's go, let's go. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to this. <laughs> All right, yeah. Very quickly and very short time it takes Oreo to adopt the Iranian culture. Don't worry. <laughs> This is amazing, Hamid. I haven't seen a table this full in so long. <laughs> yeah. So how do we start? So we've got the jigo, which is a uh, lamb shoulder. We've got aubergine or eggplant with lamb. We've got qayme yazdi, which is the most famous dish in Yaz. It's uh, chickpeas and lamb, and it's really juicy and really delicious. So we've got chips here. We're going to have it with ketchup. Mm, ketchup we've over got there. Lamb kubide, which is really nice, you tried it in the kitchen, and also shirin polo. I never saw that much sugar in that rice. It's like a quadruple layers yeah. of sugar. The statue, we've got almond, 
and we've got sour orange, which is uh, it, it has been sweetened, like uh, it was uh, caramelized. caramelized. Yeah, caramelized. Exactly. So that yeah. is sugar. They boil it for a long time, let it simmer. Exactly. And we've got fesenjan. This is a really famous dish here. Somewhere it's sour, and somewhere it's sweet. I don't know whether it's sweet or sour. We need to taste it. Okay. But. The sourness is coming from the pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate? Yeah. Oh, wow. So pomegranate taste going in there. You can have it either with meatball or chicken. And my English is <laughs> getting better because <laughs> it's been four, four days we are together. Five days, five and days. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking English all the time, explaining the food, checking my dictionary. So if I say anything wrong, I'm so sorry about it. And I want to say something, this is all lamb. Everything we're eating is lamb, yeah. right? This is the lamb restaurant. Exactly. Okay, how do we start? The, the heaven of lamb. The heaven of lamb. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Let's start with the chips. Chips, okay. So we'll get so ketchup. We get, uh, with your so ketchup. Yeah, do some ketchup. Yeah. Mmm, I love this ketchup. Yeah. What is that? The tahdik does arrive. And they put the meat juice on top. Upside the down rice. We put it here. And now we're gonna put Jaime Yazi on top. Like that. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Oh the lamb, so juicy. Mmm, the thing. Crispy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, you can put famous stew on top or or masabzi or any any other stew on top of the tahdi. It's heaven. It, it, this is amazing. This is so good. Tasty, man. Yeah. Super tasty. For David? I'm guessing it's saffron, right? No. A smell of butter. Oh, butter. butter. The butter is like straight up melted throughout. Rice, chickpeas, and lamb. <laughs> they keep bringing things. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's really? do it. Yeah. Oh. I love it. The lamb is so tender. Mmm. Nice soft. Chickpeas, right? Yeah, chickpeas. It's really important to wash, you know, chickpeas the night before. They, they make sure that it's uh, wet. So once they're cooking it, it's, it's not bad for their stomach. Okay, so that would be very nice soaked. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is phenomenal. I think that the greatest part about this is not the lamb and chickpeas, it's the butter in the rice. Exactly. It like just enhances so much more flavor, so much more taste, right? I'm not a big butter guy, <laughs> but this clarified butter is so good. It's local butter. Mmm. Mm. And right next to it, you can smell the pomegranate. I think I'm gonna have to serve us a little bit. You want some on the side? Yes, please. Put it here. On top? Yeah. More? No, it's fine. Good. This is gonna be so good, I can smell it. It smells sweet. I'm gonna get another one. The key thing about the uh, Fes and John is the quality of walnuts. Oh, the walnut quality? Yeah, it should be oily. So you can see the oil on top. It's more delicious if the quality of walnuts is higher. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Mmm. Sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and pasty. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, the lamb balls are so nice. They're like one bite and they drop. Go down so easily. Oh. Mm. Oh my. I'm gonna dream of this one. <laughs> That's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I'll have more. Happy that you like it. I'm so happy. You have to get them some of that sauce on the side. <laughs> Just the sauce, you know? It's a nice I'll Give me the lamb balls. The lamb balls. <laughs> How many you want? Two? No, fine, fine, fine. I'll give you two. Okay, I have the rice packet. This restaurant. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love it. Oh, I love it. Stop, we have the pulao. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You have a Oh, we have a spoon right here. So, shirin polo or sweet polo? Sweet polo. Yeah. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Enough. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have the jigo with it. Oh, yeah, we can? Yeah. Okay, let's get it. I'm shine. Break it up right here. <gasps> yeah. 
the lamb's shoulder. Look how much meat this is. Oh, it just falls off. It just falls off. Oh yeah, all the juices. You need the juices for the pulao. I'll put some barley polo for you as well. Okay, so this is dill pulao. Yeah. Love this one. This one's super tasty. And then we still have kubide. We got some bread and then we have the eggplant. So which one you, you're gonna start with? For, uh, dill polo? No. Barley polo or shrimp polo? I just want the lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start with the shrimp polo. So you mix it always, right? Yeah. Ready. So sweet. Mm. The oranges, caramelized. Mm. Wow. Oh wow. I love it. This is up there with the cherry pulao. Yeah. This one, the cherry pulao, my favorite so far in Iran. Really? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's super sweet though. Like b besides just the caramelized um, oranges, you also have a lot of sugar yeah. in here. The lamb. It melts. <laughs> it's so tasty. Next one? The barley polo. Barley polo. You already tried it. Either way, I'm still gonna eat it, right? Mm -hmm. The fragrance. Mmm, nice. I got barley polo. Mm -hmm. I love the beans, they're nice and chunky. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Caramelized oranges. Yeah. So good. I can see he's getting full. <laughs> he stopped talking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the other type of. Um, this is Lohme. Lohme. It's 220 grams. So. That's a lot. So you let that burst in there? Yeah. So 220 grams, so it's basically like three times the size of this one in yeah. terms of thickness, right? Exactly. Onion. What are you doing to me? I can't bite this. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. Oh man, the bread. Mmm, tomato. Ready. Thick bread, very doughy, absorbs the tomato. Mmm. But the lamb, just like that, mm. grab it, a big bite like this. Make a kubi there. Mmm. 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 Super thick. This is tomato paste, right? Yeah. So there's three different abajis in here, three eggplants? Yeah. Would you like one? I'm full. I'm gonna try it. Try, try. Try. I'll try one too. Oh. What's how time is I'm asking? This is too good. So you're gonna do it with bread? Yeah. Let's do it with bread. If you do it with bread. Yeah. It's hard. I mean, I would just have it alone, but <laughs> <laughs> it's no. so good. You have to mix it, right? Oh. <laughs> it's, John. it's so good. Oh. The lamb is like butter, and the eggplant is like butter. Everything falls apart in your mouth. Yeah. Uh, one more. <laughs> oh, guys, that was a really, really heavy meal. Lots of dishes. Luckily, it's a lot of us, and we're taking the rest home. Oh, we're going downstairs now, you said? Yeah. We're going to see the basement. Okay, let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so we're in the basement now. Hello, hello. What are we doing here? Oh, wow, lots of stuff. These are all lamb shanks. Okay, let me go inside the freezer. Oh, it's already freezing. Okay, so I'm only lasting like one minute here. <laughs> it's so cold. It's too cold. Whoa. It's like an igloo in here. 
<laughs> so all these lamb were from yesterday, right? Super fresh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, these are for Kubide. And these are for lamb shank. Oh, this is Shigo, the lamb shoulder. The lamb Shigo shoulder. Lamb. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> this is for uh, stews. For stews? Yeah. Oh, that's ready to cook. <laughs> Another freezing chamber? Oh no, this is too much. This is where they freeze it. <laughs> you want to go inside? Yeah. Oh gosh. For all the This is really cold. This is this is beyond. <coughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh. What's happening? Fish. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Okay, so we got chicken, we have fish. It's for kebab, chicken kebab. Megu. This is prawns. Prawns there too? Jujeb so these are the freezing chambers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's too cold. It's too cold. Let's it's too cold. I'm okay, gonna close the door. No! Keep you in here on forever. <laughs> We've been in a hundred years. <laughs> More freezing chambers. Was he gonna show us another freezing chamber? Yeah, freezing chamber. But uh, there is one last in it. You know the stew that you had, Fitz and John? It's, it's called Fitz and John. One last. Yeah. Also, this is just like all the, the sodas, some nuts. Yeah. These are the, the bones for soups. Yeah? Yeah, look. Bacala sauce. Lubia e porte chaude. Beans. Lochot farangi. Zorat. Corn. Uh -huh. So that's all oranges that have been diced, right? Then it's all eggplant right here? Balu. This is cherries, guys. For cherry polo. No more. No more freezing chambers, right? <laughs> I can't I can't take it anymore. <laughs> guys, look at all the spices. Sheep oh, sheep oil. oil. Yeah. Look at that. What is that? Curd. That's curd? Yeah. So curd balls, huh? Yeah, oh. Mm. Really cold and dense. Mm. 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 Oh. It's good. In this section, it's all pickles, right? So we have cauliflower, we have uh, carrots, and different vegetables, right? Oh, man, I curd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but very well healthy, actually. I know, I know, but a little bit of that one. Mm. And over here, just a lot of sodas. It's massive. This is like IKEA restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's that big, it's huge. Oh, and here we have all the pots. And what is this, like flour? It's the rice. Oh, it's rice, it's rice. So it's uh, polo. So what's this? It's um, pomegranate paste. Oh, pomegranate paste right here? Yeah. So we're gonna try this paste. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> you can lick the whole spoon. Mm. Wow. Love it. That's delicious. Can you try one? Yeah. For you? Yeah, it's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's for sure. Mm hmm. Very nice. Mm. So tasty. Not too sour. No. My friend, merci. Thank you. Merci. Ciao. All right, so we're done with the restaurant. It's been an amazing tour. We've been here for like three hours. What we have something more. Oh, oh something more. Another thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's getting married. Every single night, they got three weddings here. Every single night. Unbelievable. And that was Tala Yaz, the biggest and most famous restaurant in Yaz. You have to visit this place. Such an incredible experience. We went to the kitchen, we saw so many things were made. Gooby Day, we had. We had Aime Yazdi, we had Fes and John, you loved it. We had Shirin Polo, Sweet Polo. We had lots of stuff, and I'm gonna say thank you to Kutuk. Thank you, Kutuk Travel. Kutuk Travel, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. And guys, when you come to Iran, come to Yaz and visit that restaurant. An amazing spot, you have to eat here. Exactly, and visit me as well. <laughs> Subscribe to him, subscribe to me, we'll Follow see you in the next me, one. Please. Please. <laughs>